what is up guys welcome to the being beautifully honest podcast and channel thanks for being here being subbed if you're not hit the button and if you're listening on youtube hit the like it's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation all right so first off i want to start off with my thoughts on some comments that people make about Portia when people have their thoughts, they share their critiques, their criticism, just their thoughts of, you know, the entire debacle with regards to Portia and Simon. Portia does not have haters, but what I believe Portia has is definitely some obsessed as well as some delusional fans, as well as Portia has some people that hate her behavior it's not so much that people are haters of Portia because let's just be honest what does Portia really have to hate now yeah of course she is a a beautiful woman but there's a lot of beautiful women in the world so that lazy statement that people like to say about someone when someone has a critique and I've talked about this a number of times when it comes to different situations people like to say oh well you're a Porsche hater or not just Porsche but you're a hater or you're jealous everyone does not want what someone else has or quite frankly want to be them Porsche really has nothing that I envy and as far as I see I see a woman that really needs a lot of help I see a woman that really in my personal opinion, just based on what she displays, because I believe that if you do the work and if you're getting the work done, and I'm not talking about cosmetics procedures, okay, which she's gotten a number of those, she's she's a person that's extremely superficial, very about the looks, very about not just her own personal looks, but about the look of the life and lifestyle that she wants to live. She's exhibited that from the moment she stepped onto the Real Housewives of Atlanta, being married to Cordell, being his quote unquote Barbie doll, him dressing her up and and then controlling her at the same time and you know, and acting like she was okay with it until he got tired of her and dumped her off to her mama's house with a moving truck and the stuff that she moved into his house with. You know, and I'm not saying the way he treated her was okay. And I know people have their thoughts about Cordell and there's been a lot of rumors about him also. But in my personal opinion, I believe that the man saw some things that he was just like, look, this is just not okay. And, and I and I just want to be done with this. He did make a few little comments about her mom and the sister and how, you know, things were at the home and, and just an, a few little things he had he had talked about, but he didn't really go into any depths and details, but really there's no depth when it comes to Portia either. Let's just be real. So, you know, with that being said, Portia doesn't have haters. Portia has people who really hate her behavior. And I'm one of those people that I hate her behavior. I actually had a little bit of hope for her when at first, at first she was in the news for protesting with regards to Brianna Taylor and how she tragically lost her life. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay. Looks like she might be doing some good. The Hosea Williams Foundation and her being a part of that, that did not compel me or move me to feel like she was somebody that was an advocate for the community, really, because I just felt like she was just doing her duty as a part of the family business. Yeah, it's a charity, but it's a business, okay? They make money doing that. They get money from doing those things. Don't don't be so fooled by these people that say, oh, I'm, you know, starting a 501c3 or they have a 501c3. All of those things, they're, for the most part, tax shelters, okay? And it's a way for people to be able to put someone in position or positions where they can give them high salaries and yeah you know they can get audited and they have to explain things to the IRS or whatever but for the most part that's why people do it more so than I really want to help the community or I want to help under served areas or you know whatever their 501c3 is about so that really didn't move me okay but I just feel that 
Portia gets a lot of things that she really doesn't deserve. And that doesn't surprise me either because we do live in a day and time where people call right wrong and they call wrong right. So I don't really get out here to try to preach or get on a soapbox. And uh, people, they're free to choose and do and live the way that they want when it comes to the decisions that they make, even if it's not decisions that they make for their own life, but things that people choose to celebrate. And when I saw people celebrating Portia's relationship and her announcing that she's getting married and the way things went down, I never understood that. I never did, but people choose to do what they want to do. But also for the people who say, this is just a storyline, Portia and Simon are still chilling. This is just for her to be able to protect her assets because Now with the things coming out about immigration and him being sued by the private jet company for a million dollars and whatever else, you know, is coming down the pipeline that we may not have heard about yet. Portia is not that smart to get all that she has received from Bravo at this point in time that she's already signed on the dotted line for that still I don't understand why she is getting, but okay. Okay, coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, cool. Because they it's a sinking ship and they needed to try to do something different. So they were going to be trying it out with giving Portia the opportunity to come back to the show because I still believe in my heart of hearts that she ran from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, not so much because she didn't need the money or want the money. Because let's be clear, it's not so much about needing the money when it came to Portia leaving the show before plenty of people who don't need the money are not going to turn down a check so let's just put that to bed she didn't need the money so that's why she didn't come back okay fine even if she didn't need the money do you really think that she didn't want the money no Portia doesn't want accountability she didn't want anyone that was going to combat her she didn't want anyone that was going to be questioning her about her relationship on camera she ran from that okay That's why the things that happen the way that they happen in her relationship happen after the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And yeah, she got her little spinoff, which was disastrous, okay? Her trying to beat down her her baby daddy, former fiance's mama, (laughs) okay? Like, this goes back to her behavior. Portia has terrible behavior and habits that people reward. This woman has been a, a, a... a beat down queen or attempt to beat down queen more than the queen of Thoughtlandia on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? With several people, as well as trying to beat down the character with allegations, Candy. And then when it's time for the reunion, she passes the buck to Phaedra. Well, I've been given a cease and desist to not talk about this, so I'm going to as Phaedra. You you know what I mean? But then she wanted to act like the victim. I never would have said anything like that. Phaedra, you told me that she said that to you. And everyone made Phaedra the villain. I'm not saying that Phaedra didn't play her part, but the fact that they allowed Portia to come back, I believe she came back that following season as a friend of, she shouldn't have been allowed to come back either. And yeah, Candy gave her the cold shoulder and the silent treatment for a while, but Candy eventually forgave Portia with the fake apologies because even Portia got to the point where I'm tired of apologizing. I'm not apologizing anymore. Candy the victim. Candy the victim. You know? And (laughs) riddle me this. Why? What has Portia done to be able to get the opportunity to produce scripted content for NBC Universal? Like, does that make sense to anybody? What has Portia done to ever, ever deserve anything like that? But see, again, it doesn't go back to what someone deserves like Portia. She continues to get rewarded for bad behavior. As tired as some people may have been of Candy, and as much as people may talk about Candy's content and the movies that she's made and the television shows that she's been in and the different things like that. Out of any housewife, just not even across the board, but just the Atlanta franchise, 
why out of all of the people would Portia be the one to get the opportunity to produce scripted content for NBC Universal and not Candy or anyone else for that matter? I mean, I don't even know who else that we would think of in that role of producing scripted content. I would think that would be something that Candy would be more knowledgeable and experienced about, even if people don't really care for her content. I'm not sitting here championing her projects or her acting or anything like that, but I'm just being honest. What has Portia done to be able to deserve the opportunity to produce scripted content for NBC Universal? Besides being on Dish Nation and the Ricky Smiley Morning Show and gossip and talk about people, I, I don't, I don't know, you know, maybe people felt like she was a great actress when she was on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm, I still don't get it. It that I never will understand that. I didn't understand it when I first heard about it, and I'm still trying to make that make sense, and it still does not make sense to me. But for the people that are thinking that this is a storyline, this is something that they're doing just to make sure that Portia's financial whatever is protected so that she's not touched by what he's going through now. I don't believe that. Portia married Simon for better or best, (laughs) not for better or worse, okay? She married him for richer or richer, not richer or poorer. Once it looks like the crap is about to hit the fan, she's out. Do you remember the boyfriend that she had, Todd, the one that she presented the baby nap to? They weren't even married, but she was talking about wanting to have a baby. This was before she got with Dennis. And he was so enthralled by her for whatever reason, he said he quit his job so that he could be with her more. And she was like, what? Are you crazy? And she was done with him. (laughs) Okay? She was done. And then, I don't know if it was the next season or a couple of seasons thereafter, she came on the scene with Dennis. And Dennis had, he had money. He may not have been the most attractive person in the world, but we already know what Portia, what attracts her is the finances. It has nothing to do with the looks, okay? And she's not the only one. So I'm not even sitting here knocking her. I have no issues with a woman that wants to feel secure and protected. We ob- we honestly should be. No one, no woman should be in a relationship where they have to sacrifice, you know, their everything to be with someone and then struggle financially. I, I, it doesn't make sense. So I'm not even sitting here advocating for any woman to be in a relationship with some, honestly, men who are broke, they shouldn't be trying to screw anybody in my personal opinion. You need to be doing what you need to do to level your life up so that one, you could take care of yourself and let alone if you are in a relationship be able to take care of the woman that you want to have in your life. I don't, so I don't sit here and advocate for any woman to be in a relationship with someone that they're struggling with. Okay. So that's not even what I'm trying to say, but the Bravo producers are saying that they were blindsided by the divorce. And I do believe them. I don't believe that's a lie because when I've heard people say, this is just a storyline this is just a storyline or they're saying that she's only doing this because what's going on now with Simon, she wants to protect her assets. That doesn't even make sense. So Andy Cohen claims he and the other producers were blindsided because Portia season 16 storyline was supposed to be her happily ever after. First of all, Portia announced last week that she is leaving Simon. And I was like, this is not, I was so surprised. Andy said on the latest episode of Sirius XM's Andy Cohen Live. According to an insider, someone leaked Simon's year old court documents exposing his history of credit card fraud and immigration problems. Earlier this month, Andy announced Portia was returning to the show. But fans are doubting that was a coincidence, but Andy denies rumors that Simon and Portia's troubled marriage was a factor in bringing her back. None of us knew any of this was on the horizon, and this was really meant to be Portia's happily ever after kind of victory lap season. So it's just, I was so surprised and taken aback and listen, we wanted Portia on the show for Portia. I'm not saying that Andy is my favorite person in the world, but I don't think he's lying about this. 
He's not. So, you know, to me, people praising her, praising the relationship. She had, what, two weddings, had about seven wedding dresses or something like that. It was just absolutely insane. I... I, I know why a lot of people do things like that. It's like you feel like you're living vicariously through this person. You would love the opportunity to be able to live this supposed fabulosity like she is living or allegedly <laughs> living. But it, it's it, it's not real. It never really was. And even if it didn't come out before her being on The Real Housewives of Atlanta's newest season... It was eventually going to fall apart. And so I want to play this clip. I I was attempted to do this as a stream yard, but I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> so I'm just going to play the audio. I'll put the video link in the description box if you want to see it because the facial expressions is is everything for me. But on the Jasmine brand, they played a throwback of a clip from Watch What Happens Live. And I actually remember this episode because I watched it. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I forgot about that. But this is a clip from an episode when Dr. Katessa, who used to be on Married to Medicine, and Quad, who I will say used to be <laughs> on Married to Medicine, were guests on Watch What Happens Live. And Andy asked them what they thought about the relationship. And I just want to play this clip. Danny A said, since you're, since you guys are close friends with some of the Atlanta housewives, thoughts on Portia's recent engagement? Yes, Portia! Yes! <laughs> you like that? Let me tell you this. Portia was not Fallon's friend, honey. Yeah, but it doesn't matter who gets but, engaged in one month and talking about but, you gonna raise my baby. Like, I don't even want you around my baby but, in one but, month. But, but wait a minute. But like, wait. that's crazy. I don't even know you. I haven't even seen you really mad. I haven't seen you, like, really upset. Well, I haven't seen you with your family. I don't know nothing about you in one month. You st- I want to pause right there for a moment because the... <laughs> Listen... What came out of Quad's mouth initially is how she really felt, Okay. Yes, Portia. Here I go. Talking about the people who celebrated this bull crap, okay? And then when Contessa was like, you like that? Well, let well let, well, let me say this. She, Portia was not Fallon's friend, honey. And Contessa, when she finished what she was saying or really got back into what she was saying and what her point was, she didn't even say anything about Fallon, okay? So that just goes to show you the type of person, in my personal opinion, that quad is and some people are who would justify this relationship that Portia and Simon got into to say well Portia wasn't really friends with Fallon she just on the show had to make it appear like she was her friend so they used her to make it look like like, get out of here the woman was in the woman's house she was in her pool twerking in front of her husband okay while he joyfully sat there and watched yes we know this but Dr. Contessa like this is what I'm talking about people who actually have some sense about themselves and they're willing to not go along with the group think of yes Portia's getting to the bag Portia wasn't really Fallon's friend anyway Fallon was cheating on Simon anyway like people who try to come up with excuses for bad behavior that's what i'm just gonna call it bad behavior not your representative showing up okay so that's what's like i think you're more mature than to say i'm gonna get engaged to somebody is a person who's been married before engaged in one month that's okay. like silly okay well, my just... 12 year old wouldn't do that okay now okay. that's all. now are you done i'm, you I'm done i'm done <laughs> okay don't get engaged in a, a, a okay month. so listen not i'm not up. looking at the timing i'm looking at the people yeah okay i'm looking at the people and i'm looking at the age of the people okay these are people who have been through marriages before what well, portia has been through some some relationships that did not pan out for her okay yeah, she's right. They've been through marriages before. <laughs> because how many did Simon have before? Four or five? <laughs> Stupid. Okay. I know Simon personally. I know Portia personally. Okay. Oh, she knows Simon personally? So did she know that Simon was a f- <laughs> was here in the U.S. on some fraudulent identity? 
both of them, okay? Okay. They're two beautiful people. So listen For to us. Listen to me. Okay. But 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 when okay, you but are... she knows Simon, I like Yeah, this. I, yes, yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Yeah, I know, yeah. He's a good person. Yeah, he's, I heard okay. he's nice. Yeah. All right, no, I, I'm, I'm telling you, he is. Yeah. Okay. What I'm simply saying is this, when you're grown and when you've already been through, because it's like right now, I've been, I've, I've been married before and I'm divorced now, but if the right one came to me... In a it, month? Listen to me. It, it's not going to take, it probably won't take a year, baby. It won't okay. take a year, but it won't take a month. Well, what I'm saying, I'm not talking about the time. I'm talking about the people. Okay. Those are two beautiful people. Oh, yeah, for sure. She was not Phylum's friend, and it is what it is. Ciao. Bye. Okay, see? <laughs> Dr. Contessa was right. Dr. Contessa was right. People who are intelligent and they are you know, she could have went there. She actually chose not to go there when it came to talking about Fallon. Quad was the one that brought it up, right? And I believe that she brought it up because she already just assumed that that's where Dr. Contessa was going to go with it. And she actually did it. She ch she chose not to go there is what I'm going to say. I'm not saying that she couldn't have talked about it, but she was like a month. Like, you, you're going to have your child around this man that you've known for a month and talking about helping to raise your baby when the baby's father is active in the child's life, period. That, that to me, goes to show the type of person that Quad and a lot of people like her are. They have this living vicariously through this person who was going to appear to be living this life of fabulosity flying around in private jets, going from Dubai, going to Nigeria, going to Costa Rica, wherever else, you know, they're going to go and they're just living this jet set lifestyle. Honestly, that isn't even most people's real lives. I don't even, I mean, we know that Jeff Bezos is one of the richest people in the world, right? I think he's still building his like $500 million yacht. But even he isn't living like that every day, like Simon and Portia were trying to portray, where they're just always out on the water, always just living this life fabulously or whatever. It's just ridiculous, okay? Like, what did Simon really do for a living? Like, really? I don't even believe that his companies were really real. Do you know how many people can just start an LLC and it's not even a real company? It's just ridiculous. So Dr. Contessa was right. And Quad showed how she really is, and a lot of people were like her. And I really admire Dr. Contessa for just standing her ground, not allowing Quad to try to flip her opinion of what she felt. And it's, just a, <laughs> it's a lot of people that feel like Quad feels. So they're still in this delusion of this divorce isn't really real this is just a storyline or Portia's just trying to protect her ass child please people are really ridiculous but getting back to my point initially about Portia Portia does not have haters she has a lot of people that hate the type of behavior she exhibits and she's not the only one so I'm not even here to sit here to say that she is the queen of this type of stuff, but she gets by because there are a lot of people who fall into the trap of, oh, she's beautiful. Who freaking cares? Do you all know, do you know how many people that are really beautiful in this world and they work their butts off to achieve and gain the things that they have acquired? And there are some that still haven't gotten to that point yet. Portia is not favored by God. Give me a break with that bull crap. You know what I mean? Because I'll never forget that season when Claudia was calling her on the African that bought her the Rolls Royce, which I heard, I don't know how true this is, but I heard that the African who bought her the Rolls Royce was actually Simon's cousin. Listen, <laughs> you know, but when Claudia was calling her on it and then Portia did her little confessional with the um, camera, and she's like, and just really pissed with Claudia questioning about her questioning her about those things Portia says those are blessings get you some that has nothing to do with God okay God does not get involved with people's decisions to 
do the things that they want to or feel like they need to do in order to live a certain type of lifestyle or shall we say portray a certain type of lifestyle. She was just pretty much living on rented time. This was a very temporary situation. Obviously, Portia is not going to go down and be destitute because she does have people that reward her terrible behavior. But we'll see where all of this goes when it comes to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, her return, as well as this ridiculous deal for her to be able to produce scripted content for NBC Universal. I, I, I don't, they've never even given Bethany anything like that. You know, that's just weird to me. Very, very weird. And I'm very interested to know how that came about. So anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.